Hello and welcome to Summer Sparkling Good Time. Don't panic. Don't panic. I know it's scary. There's rulers, calculators, spreadsheets. Don't panic. I promise it's not that bad. This is Diamond Painting Summer School 2023 Lesson 6 Math. I promise I made this as simple as I possibly could for y'all. Are y'all ready? Okay. So, these are just basically what I'm going to be using today. I do have my tape measure and my ruler because it's sometimes nice to have both. I have a tape runner to imitate adhesive. I have multiple spreadsheets I made that will be found on the OneDrive if you need them. I have my calculator because some of these I can't do in my head. Some I can, some I can't. Okay, I have a small tray to go with the small bottle and I have a big tray to go with the big vase. Okay, in the big vase, this is all of the leftover drills from the kit Take a Flight by Mari945 from Jaded Gym Shop. I know from uh, Lesson 5 Chemistry that these are resin drills, right? The ones in this are from Fox Wisdom by Willowing Arts from Diamond Art Club. I know once again that these are resin drills from chemistry class, right? But I needed square and round, but I wanted them to be the same material. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to go ahead and, there is a drill hiding in there. Get out. Oh, I'm using the large mini made tray for the round drills. I'm using the uh, Nix's Notions tall boy for the square drills. Okay, I'm going to pour a little of the round Jaded Gym Shop drills in there. Thank you very much. And these are uh, drills that are left over from kits I've completed, which have uh, post reviews up on the channel. Come on, what are you doing? That's fine. It's fine. It doesn't need to be perfect. I'm not really diamond painting. Okay. Get some of these square from the Fox Wisdom from Diamond Arc. I always pour too many out of this bottle. It goes too fast. Doesn't need all that many. Okay. So put the lid back on this bad boy. Slide. Out of the way. Out of the way. Everybody get out of my way. Oh, see, now I'm throwing drills. Get out the way. Get out the way. Okay. So now I have those lined up. Keep everything where it's supposed to be somewhere. You're going to get confused. So, this is the spreadsheet I'm going to use to demonstrate the difference of the size of the drills. Because today what we're going to go over is why size matters in three ways. One, why it matters on the difference between round and square drills. Why size matters on your uh, canvas size. Why size matters on rendering and what well I guess four ways and why size matters um on versus how many drills are you actually going to place if it's round versus square on the same canvas size okay so before we even get into this let's have a quick conversation for those of us in America about the metric system okay are we clear are we focused 1.0 centimeters equals 10.0 millimeters. I'm using the decimal and the following zero for a reason because we're doing it. If those of you who are visual learners, sometimes this makes a difference. So to convert a centimeter to a millimeter, we just move the decimal <laughs> one space to the right. So we'd go one space to the right and we'd put it here. So one centimeter then becomes 10 millimeters, right? If we're wanting to go from millimeters to centimeters, it's basically the same thing, but we're moving the decimal to the left. So we'd go this way and put our decimal here. So one millimeter is thus 0.1 centimeter, okay? This is important. I will put this in the OneDrive. If this is easier for you to follow along or you just don't want to think about it. <laughs> 
<laughs> because uh, sometimes for those of us in America who were not raised in the metric system, like the majority of the entire world, I think the U.S. is one of six or seven countries that don't use the metric system as their dominant system. No, we have, you know, 12 inches in a foot, three feet in a yard. I don't know how many yards. And I, it's, it's a mess. Okay, so there's that. We're going to leave this right here in case anybody needs a, a refresher when we're talking, okay? So, I'm going to take my glue runner and I am going to put adhesive on these top two lines. I'm not going to do this one yet because um, I don't want to put my hand in it while I'm doing these two, okay? So I'm going to run adhesive across these. Now, I will like it to go on record that I did a chest run with this. And what I need you to know is that the glue runner, which is a, basically a double-sided adhesive, is not as forgiving as a pour de glue. So once I put these down, I'm kind of stuck where they're at, okay? Another thing I was wanting to make sure you guys are aware is all three of these lines are identical. And each line segment from the inside of the black squares is six centimeters, okay? So if it's six centimeters, it would be 60 millimeters, right? Metric system is so much easier. So that measures six centimeters, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to fill up this entire line and this entire line with the corresponding drills. So this is square drills. So we're going to grab these Diamond Art Club drills. I'm sorry that some of these are white, but I just used what I had that I knew uh, were, you know, behave the same way in the um, chemistry experiment. Okay. I'm using a seven placer. I'm trying to get this as close as possible to that start point. Okay. So I'm making sure that's four. That's, that is seven. Okay. Going for the next set. I think I only picked up six. It's okay. Six. That one did not stick. Get in there. Okay. See, it keeps coming off. I have a bad bottom. No, there it is. I think I need to replace the putty in my pen is the problem. Nope. That's two drills. I think I, only four are going to fit. So let's try to take this. Four. All right. So now I have my line of square drills in the six centimeters, right? Now, according to everything out in the wonderful world of interwebs, I have found square drills are supposed to be 2.5 millimeters or 0.25 centimeters right because we were going to just move the decimal to convert from millimeters to centimeters right one to the left okay round drills are supposed to measure 2.7 millimeters or 0 0.27 centimeters okay that's just another thing all right so how many do we think square drills should fit on a six centimeter line I just want to do this before we do anything. So 6 centimeters divided by 0.25, because that's how many, how wide in centimeters a square drill is supposed to be, means I should have 24 square drills on this line. Let's count and verify, okay? Now you get over there. We're done with you for a minute. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So that, that, that all worked well. So we have 24 drills on that line. Okay. Now let's do the same thing with the round drills. Come on, everybody. I think we need to clean this tray. Okay. So we're just placing these along this line. 
so we can get an idea. Everybody get in your assigned sheets, I say. It looks like. See, once you're down on the tape runner, you're down. Maybe two more. Is that what y'all are seeing? Maybe two more. No, there's a little bit of a there, but if I think if I go any more, it will go over into there. So, based on, you get over there out of my way. You, I'm done with for now. So, based on that, this is six centimeters. Six centimeters, six centimeters divided by. Okay, where's my paper? 0.7, because that's what round rails are supposed to be. 0.27, sorry. There should be 22 drills on this line. Let's count to make sure. That's why I still needed that pin, because I touch them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Spot on, right? So there are 22 round drills on that same 6 centimeter line. There is a little bit extra room, but that is normally common on uh, round drill kits because um, they don't butt up perfect, okay? So, in the same 6 centimeter section, it would take two more square drills than it would round drills to fill that line, right? Okay. Now, that doesn't seem like a lot, right? It doesn't really seem like a lot. I'm going to now show you the side-by-side -side comparison. Okay. Now, how I'm going to do that is square drills are going to go above the line. Round drills are going to go below. And we're only going to do 10 drills. Okay. All right, here's a... The square drills on top, starting right there at the very little corner of that. Okay. And I have one, two, three, that's six. So I need four more. Okay. There's ten square drills. Let's count and make sure that I didn't screw up because I don't want to be wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to put 10 round rows directly underneath them. I'm trying to get it where they're not those real pale colors so you guys can see. I am going to zoom in once I'm done placing the drills. But trying to place the drills with the camera closer is never a good idea. This is not my first time filming this video. <laughs> so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I need 3 more. This section right here of three is nice and bright. Okay. Now, once I'm here, I wanted to show you guys that my metal roller is butted up. I'm going to draw a line. Okay. Now I'm going to come over on this side. draw my lines. That's just going to make my life easier for measuring, okay? So, I'm going to take you closer now. Hold on one second. Okay, so like I said, each line segment is six centimeters from inside the, the end squares on the interior, right? There was 24 on this of square drills. There were 22 of the round drills. You saw me count. Now we're down here with a side-by-side -side comparison, okay? So how far is it from this line to this line representing the width of the uh, round drills. So we're going to start our. So this is our two centimeter mark, right? That's 2.5, 2.6, 2.7. So 2.7 centimeters. Where's my, where's my paper I brought? I can write it on here. So we're going to do round over here on this side. So it's 
seven centimeters, right? Now, to convert centimeters to millimeters, we're going to move the decimal one place over. So this would be 27 millimeters, right? That perfectly, my calculator is causing a ruckus. That perfectly aligns with what we know. So we now know that this is 2.7 centimeters or 27 millimeters, okay? Now, as you can clearly see, this line is shorter than this line. So let's measure that one. I'm going to be doing it upside down because that's the way the ruler fits. And this is measuring at one, two, right at two and a half um, centimeters, right? So I have 2.5 centimeters, which is 25 millimeters. Okay? Now, that is what we have been told by everybody the measurements are supposed to be for our drill size. So we have confirmed that. And you can see side by side that 10 drills take up more room, or 10 round drills take up more room than 10 square drills. All right? All right. Okay. Moving on. Now, we now know for sure, 100%, that this is how we convert from 1 centimeter to 10 millimeters. We're going to move the decimal one spot to the right. To go from millimeters to centimeters, we're going to move the decimal one spot to the left. Okay, now we have concluded the section on the different size of drills and why that matters because it takes up different space. We're going to circle back around at the end to why that matters when you get to the different size canvases. Right now we're going to go into why size matters with rendering. Hold please. Okay, so right here in a stack I have one, two, three, 30 by 40 budget kits, right? They are basically the same size. Um, they're not all cut as well as each other. Some are cut slightly off, but you know, that is human error. But they are all supposed to and listed at 30 by 40. Now, if you've been paying attention to Dumb and Painting Summer School, you will know that when, I, when we see 30 by 40, we instantly think it's actually going to have a drill filled of five centimeters less each direction. So if this says 30 by 40, I'm expecting a drill field of 25 by 35. So let's go ahead and confirm and see if we're right. Now when I say that as a ballpark five centimeters, sometimes it's only 24 instead of 30. Sometimes it's 26. There, there's normally some little bit of range. But on average, it's five centimeters less than what the budget company is telling you. So measuring this from left to right this is measuring at 25 centimeters okay i like that measuring from top to bottom this is measuring at 35 centimeters so this based on what we know about size and how the budget companies actually are counting it from this section to this section and not counting the two and a half centimeters of border on all four sides is true to size for what it says right there we go now what I want to also say is when you look at this picture you can clearly see that this has a red banner on the left with the word welcome with the O being a star it has three hearts that are a patriotic theme it's on a wooden fence background and there's some leaves you can see that correct the image is clear. You can tell these are stars. You can tell these are stripes. You can tell these are leaves. Okay, I want everybody to, to remember that. Now, moving on to this one. We've seen it before. This is the best example I can give of why size matters and how much rendering is the heart of a canvas. This is also a canvas size of 30. Ow by 40 but the drill field on this one is actually only 
23 by 33. So where this one I had to subtract 5, this one I have to subtract 7. So this has a 2 and a half inch border, where this one has a 3 and a half inch border. And this is, a, I'm saying inch, 3 and a half centimeter. I'm so sorry. If you look at it side by side, you can tell that this drill field goes out farther than this field. Okay? So this is a 23 by 33, not a 30 by 40 like it was stated, right? This, acceptable. This, not so much. Now, when you are looking at these canvases, we just went over, we can tell what this is. This canvas, nope. On the rendering, I still am like, cannot unsee this scary baby doll head down here. It just, I, like, I, I want to like show it to you with my hand over him because he gives me a little nightmares right there. But, we cannot read the words on this. The only thing that is actually decipherable when you're looking at this canvas is that this is some kind of star thing here. This appears to be a fish hook or a anchor and that there is some kind of ribbon here and you can kind of get that it must be an underwater nautical scene. This has a semblance of a fish. This on camera you can tell is in the shape of a turtle in real life you can't um there's supposed to be a fish here but no can you even tell which way it's going it looks like if uh, it's bad this is just bad this whole thing is bad now the image itself is not bad the image would be totally cute if it was rendered on a larger canvas okay now this also is a 30 by 40 kit if we measure the canvas, the canvas measures 30 by 40. The drill field measures 25 by actually a little more than 35. So I am expecting this patriotic welcome sign to be as good of a rendering or better than this one because when I was ordering these these are close up in large images with no small details the smallest details on this canvas are the two birds right here okay but everything else is actually almost like blown up zoomed in however you want to look at it so it's easier for you to get the right rendering on that on this one, it also, the letters are not small. The letters are like block lettering. You can clearly see it. I'm not seeing an issue there. Everything here, the most minor details we have on this is like the floral and some of this, you know, hazy background, you know. That is the most small detail in the kit. Oops, I'm throwing everything. But when you're looking at this one, this is small detail, this is small detail, this is small detail, this is small detail. All through here, there's supposed to be small details. But the kit is so small, there's no way to actually show that in diamond form, in diamond art form, because it's just going to be too pixelated. I mean, and that's one of the things that, you know, you're, when you're doing diamond art, you're basically doing pixel art. You're doing it one square or round area of square at a time. Okay? Now, I'm not saying that small kits are bad. That is not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that size is a problem. Because if size was such a huge deal, people would not be ordering the paint gems. These are very small canvases. But you go into these knowing that they're going to be pixelated images. But they're not, they're not this. You know what the image is, is on this because it's a good rendering at a small size. Now, I'm not saying that the only place you can get a good rendering on a small size is through paint gems. That is not it. You can get good rendering on small canvases at a budget company. This is listed as a 20 by 30 
So that means our canvas is 20. Yep. By 30. Yep. But that means that my drill field is only going to be 15 by 25. 15. 25. But this image does not have any minute details or writing that is necessary for you to know what the canvas or the artwork is. So even at this smaller size, with this level of rendering on this image, it works. It actually might not be as great on a bigger canvas because there's not as much detail. It would kind of be a whole lot of color blocking and maybe not very inter interesting. Okay. But as we get to bigger canvases, the bigger canvas we go, this is a Diamond Art Club. This is Fox Wisdom by Willing Arts. This is a 33 by 46 centimeter. So now that we're getting bigger, we can have really interesting minute detail like this butterfly this through the the scruff of the neck of the fox the little face the different designs in the ear and things like this beautiful cityscape through the tail we're just we can we can get more detail because the canvas is larger and this doesn't get lost or muddied in in the process as you get Bigger than that, I'm only going up this last size. <laughs> we're not, we're not, we're not doing it. So this is Take a Flight by Artist Mari945 at Jada Gym Shop. This is a round drill kit. That's the drills we're using for a round. So because this is a 40 by 60, we can get this lace detail up here. We can get the detail of her headband. We can get the detail of her hand and it actually looked like a hand. And not something scary. But we're able to get details. The fold in, the, uh, top, in her top. The shine in her necklace. We're, we're able to do that. The highlights of her hair. And it looked very, very well done. Because the canvas size works with the image. I hope I made that clear. I think I did. But there we go. So we've discussed why the size of the canvas matters, but it's only in relation to the rendering. You can have a small kit with great rendering, but you can also have a large kit with bad rendering. Don't, don't, don't get me started on a past order. But you need to be very careful that when you're going small, you're checking the renderings. Excuse me, sir. You're checking the renderings, and you're also making sure that it's not too busy with details or small words of an image because that is not going to go that it's not going to you're going to have a bad time okay you're just going to have a bad time now why does it matter and why does it always seem like if you are doing a square drill kit that it takes so long to complete it it's not that big of a difference on how many drills you're having, right? It's only two on this whole line. Two extra drills. Who cares? Not a big deal, right? Okay, let's talk about... Number one, let's zoom in. Let's, let's zoom in even closer than that. All right, like right there. No, focus. To calculate the numbers of drills on canvas, the first thing you're going to do is divide the width of the canvas by 0 0.25. We are working in centimeters, okay? We are working in centimeters. Where is my other page? I have lost in my sheet. Where did my sheet go? Hold on. Hold on. I found my sheet. So, we're doing a 40 by 60 canvas, right? 40 by 60 canvas. So, it's 40 centimeters this way. It's 60 centimeters this way. Okay. So, we're going to divide the width of the canvas by 0 0.25. Because that, and this is for squares. Because that is how wide the actual square is. Or 0 0.27 for rounds. We're going to round to the nearest whole number. I'm going to do the square example here that's already written out. And then we'll do the round one together on paper. So, 40 
centimeters divided by 0 0.25 centimeters is 160. So this 40 by 60 canvas is going to have 160 square drills across. Okay. Then we're going to divide the length of the canvas by that same number, 0 0.25 for squares or 0 0.27 for rounds. And we're going to round to the nearest whole number. So 60 centimeters, which is the length of our canvas, divided by 0 0.25 equals 240. So that means I am going to have, what did I say, 160 drills this direction and 240 drills this direction, right? Now, then I'm going to multiply the answers and that will tell you approximately how many drills you'll be placing on that canvas. So on a 40 by 60 square drill canvas, 160 times 240 means you are going to be placing 38,400 drills. Now, that is not how many drills you'd be placing if it was a round drill canvas. If it is a round drill canvas, we have to do a different math. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this. So, we know we're going to do the width. The width of the canvas is 40. 40 divided by 0 0.27, right, because we want it to be centimeters, equals, where did the, where did the calculator go? Y'all let me lose the calculator. Okay, turn it on. Oh gosh, it's going to ask me questions. 40 divided by 0.27 equals 148.14. So I'm going to call that 148. So this is 148 drills. Okay, next up. So that means, real quick, that on the width of that canvas, on a round drill, there's going to only be 148 across, but on the square drill, it's going to be 160 across. So it's 12 drill drifts across, right? Now, we need to divide the length of the canvas, which we know is 60, by that same number for rounds. That's what we're doing. And then we're going to do the math. 60 divided by 0.27 equals... 222.22222. Two, 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 two. So we're going to call that 222. Right? Now, on the square drills, a 60, a 60 centimeter length canvas is going to be 240 drills. But on round drills, we're only going to place 222. So now we need to go know how many total drills on that canvas. So, let me do it this way. So we're going to take the answer from 1, which is 148, multiply that by the answer from 2, which is 222, which equals 148 times 222, 32,856 drills. Okay, as opposed to 38,400. So we're back to this paper. So we have our 40 by 60 canvas. Square drills, it equals 38,400 drills approximately. That's allowing, you know, there could be some variation due to how big they're doing their um, spacing. Okay, on round drills, we know that it's 32,856. We just did the math together. So you would be placing 5,544 more square drills than round drills on that same 40 by 60 canvas. So yes, it's going to take you more time to complete a square drill canvas than it is a round drill canvas because you are going to be doing the motion more, especially if you are only single placing. If you are only single placing, that is a whole lot more time. I mean, it's considerable time as well for the people who are doing multi-placing, but I mean, that's 5,544 more times you're going to have to dot if you're doing it the single time. So that is why it matters. Now, the directions on how to calculate in the soon-to-be edited version of this, <laughs> I can't believe I did it backwards. I just feel so silly. Uh, this... This, this once I get it fixed, <laughs> let's see what else. 
this and a picture of this will all be available on the OneDrive if you would like to uh, go get those and have especially like the decimal port or the how to calculate drills. Now, you could be saying, Summer, why in the actual heck are you telling us all this? Because on companies like Diamond Art Club, they're going to tell you how many drills your canvas has. When you're on the website, it tells you the number of, of drills. Okay? They don't tell you on a budget kit. And they don't tell you on every every kit you see. Let's do a quick little test because I'm just curious. How many drills were on this? Because this was, for me, one sitting to diamond paint. So these are round drills. So we know we're going to stick with the 0 0.27. And we know this is a 15 by 25, right? So 15 divided by 0 0.27 for both of these. Okay, so 15 times, ah, not times, divided by 0.27 equals 55.5 forever. So I'm going to call that 56. Okay, and then 25 divided by 0.27 is 92.59 so i'm going to call that 93 that's probably why they were measuring slightly over okay so then if i take 56 times 93 that means i place 5208 drills on this small canvas so I am somewhat of a fast diamond painter. Um, I, I, I tend to do a lot of diamond painting. I tend to get a lot of drills done. But a one evening session for me is less than the difference of a 40 by 60 canvas in square versus round. So I would have to consider that it's going to take me a whole extra day at least to do a square drill of the same size if it's 40, or 60, 40 by 60 or larger. Because I know on a night where I just sit down and that's what I'm doing, I'm diamond painting and nothing else, this was 5,208. And I did this for a few hours. I placed 5,208 drills. But this 40 by 60 canvas, if it is a square drills versus round drills, I'm going to have... 5,544. That's more than a whole me not doing anything but diamond paint night. So it's going to take me a minimum of an extra day. But see, that's even bigger than that number. So I know it's probably going to take me two to three days longer when you're getting bigger. Because you spend more time aligning your square drills than you do your round drills. It, it's just a thing. It's just a thing. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any um, value or enjoyment from this video, go ahead and boop my snoot. Boop, math, snoot. That means hit the like button if you're new here. And if you want to share this video with your friends or family, I have no problem with that. I ain't going to be mad at you for that. And if you have made it to the very, very end of this video, go ahead and leave me an uh, emoji that has uh, any emoji in the world you want at this point. Just leave me an emoji. And then if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. If Let's try that in English. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you want to. Um, we are we are growing strong. Uh, the channel is not even five months old, and we're over three hundred subscribers. I'm super excited. Um, we are now uh, reaching for the five hundred subscriber goal. And when we hit that number, there will be yet another giveaway. Um, when this video goes up, this video is going up Sunday. No, this video is going up Thursday. July 5th. If you have not already, I would strongly encourage you to go back and watch my whip update video from June 28th because uh, the uh, 250 subscriber giveaway uh, instructions are in that video. So you still have time if you're watching this video on today, July 25th, when, or July 25th, July 5th, when it goes live to get in there and um, get entered for the giveaway. So 
Um, until next time, I love y'all. Bye-bye.